Yo, what's going on? It's Jason Capital here, and welcome to today's 10 for 10, where you ask 10 questions, I have 10 answers, but I only have 10 seconds to answer them. So, let's begin. First question, bring it. Hey brother, you're a fucking wizard. How do you go about meeting people with the same thoughts and want to be billionaire high status? I want to build a convoy and honor rush. Oliver. All right, Oliver, so you ask a very good question. I assume it's because you're a very good person, but here's the problem, okay? A mentor once told me, Jason, in order for you to attract and connect with the high-level people that you want to, you must become more valuable yourself. And Oliver, that is my advice for you. Next question. Hi, Jason. I study marketing in university, but it's bullshit. I've read a lot of books by Dan Kennedy, Dave Olge, Seth Godin, and I realized that my professors don't know what is marketing in practice. I want to leave the university and start a web shop with one of my friends. In my opinion, school makes good employees. Is it worth it to finish the university? Zolt. All right, Zolt. Good question. You have good insights. I think you're exactly correct. Maybe you just need a kick in the ass because the answer to me and everyone else in this room is glaringly obvious. School puts you in debt. School trains you to be a good employee. School put, it teaches you how to sit in a little box and be a good little boy or a good little girl who just does what they're told and never gets the life they want, never has the freedom they want, never expresses themselves or tells their story the way they want, never becomes the person that they are meant to be. Did I answer your question adequately? Next question. Hey Jason, I'm a life coach specializing in the law of attraction. This is contradictory to most dating gurus I've ever read. Problem is, I am the organizer of a 1200 plus person group. I live what I speak about, which means being very heartfelt, kind, loving, caring, empathetic, and compassionate. Now my issue is that is it too much for women to handle. Any advice on how someone in my position becomes better at dating without compromising the ideals I teach and being a badass? Rob. Rob, I'm just gonna tell you the fucking truth here, okay? You're like, I'm too man enough for women. That's a bullshit story that you are telling yourself, okay? And, and you wanna stick to your ideals. Here's the problem, Mr. Law of Attraction, okay? It's funny how Mr. Law of Attraction can't attract the women that he wants, okay? Your problem is that you are super fucking selfish and you don't even realize it, okay? And I'm only telling you this because this is where I was when I was first starting and I thought I had ideals about how women should be and how relationships should be and how attraction should work and all of it was me being fucking selfish and, more, and even worse of all, me being disrespectful to how human beings actually operate. Me being disrespectful of human nature. I want you to imagine for a second, how much do you think women pay for a pair of, I don't know, uh, Louis Vuitton like heels, right? 700 bucks, $1,000, something like that. If Louis Vuitton went out and started giving away all of these $1,000 shoes for free, nonstop, every street corner, just get your free Louis Vuittons, how long do you think it would take before women didn't want those shoes anymore? Okay, you are giving yourself away freely, just like you said, to women and you can't figure out why they aren't responding, why they aren't responding with desire or sexual attraction, okay? It's because you're too easy, you're too open, you don't challenge them, you don't give them a standard to live up to, you're, uh, you're always available, you are their emotional tampon, and you're not even being present with them. If you were being present with them, you would realize the lights would switch the fuck on that in order to attract them, being that open and being that empathetic and being that compassionate all the way from the beginning isn't what they want at all, okay? If you were there present with them, you would know that. That's my, that's my advice to you. Get present with them. Really observe and respect their nature and what actually attracts them. And if you do that, you will succeed with them. Okay, cut the law of attraction bullshit out. And I'm not calling out everything that you do. I think there's a lot of truth to the law of attraction, but the law of attraction with no action leads to just delusion. It just leads to you sitting in one place wondering why the world isn't, isn't opening its doors to you, okay? Get with Team Capital, do what we do and succeed, or you know, do what the 99% does and live the mediocre life that they have to suffer through. I've got a question and it's about mindset. My mindset is positive and I always see the good in every bad situation, but I'm not taking enough action. Why is that, Sama? All right, so Sama, here's why you're not taking enough action. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. Please don't become offended by this. You have to stand up, all right? So here's what I discovered about action. You have to actually stand up and then you have to move a foot and then another foot and then another foot and then another foot. And then sometimes even your arms gotta open doors and you gotta go outside and you gotta do shit. That's my advice for you. Next question. 
Hey JC, this is where I'm confused. Even though I've developed my state control to world-class levels, I still feel huge amounts of resistance. When I see an attractive girl that I want to approach, I just can't go up to her and start talking. I end up missing a lot of great opportunities. I often feel like I'm just too indifferent and too empty. But at the same time, I really want to meet those girls. Do I lack desire or motivation? Bloody. All right, bloody. So you say that you have your, your world-class state control, yet you're still not doing what you want to do. Therefore, you don't have world-class state control. If you had world-class state control, in that moment when you saw that girl, you'd be able to trigger and bring up the desire necessary in order to spur you to action to go talk to her. If you're not doing it, then you still don't have that state control. There is a lot more to state control than just being calm, cool, and collected in the pressure cooker. All right, so keep working on that state control and start taking some action. Next question. Hey JC, I am a 19 year old diploma student from India. Do you think a normal guy at the very bottom could reach the top where you are just by doing online jobs? I don't know what action to take. My father suggests that after my diploma, I should get a job and then use my free time to work on my goals. Sans. All right, so first of all, dude, it sounds like your dad is giving you the advice that any parent who wanted to make sure their child was safe instead of hugely successful would give. And it depends on, on which, which door do you want to open, the door to just comfortable boxed in safety like everyone else or reaching for the fucking stars and at least getting 80%. What you need to do is just start taking action. Start with the low hanging fruit. Start with what's available. If it's online jobs, then it's online jobs. But I can certainly tell you that you will not reach step 10 if you don't start with step two right now. Any advice when dealing with longtime friends that just become too fucking toxic? Maneeb.nash. All right, Maneeb, here's what I need you to do. All right, take your phone, take that person's number, delete it. Go to their Instagram account, stop following them. Block them, do the same thing on Facebook, do the same thing on text, do it everywhere humanly possible. Become absolutely unreachable, build a fortress around yourself to this one person, and then best yet, if you know NLP, do some of the brainwashing shit on yourself to remove them from your subconscious forever. The, lack, uh, the lessening of toxicity in your life will allow you to bubble up and rise higher and faster. Next question. Jason fucking capital. Thanks for your awesome wisdom. I just tried to hook up with some girl. I asked her out. She told me that I'm too much for her. She saw me talking and flirting with other girls in the past. Did that ever happened to you in the past? And what's going on? Is she trying to fuck my mind or is she telling the truth? Gerardo. All right, Gerardo, listen, this is a problem that guys in Team Capital sometimes face. It happens. I've certainly been there myself. The one piece of advice that I can give you is that she probably got the vibe that you wanted to date her instead of just have fun, right? Because if she knew it was a light and it was just going to have fun and there was no attachments, I think she may have responded differently to the invitation that you gave her. I'm not saying she would for sure, but she may have responded differently. So I would look deeper into that framing or better yet, just do what all the top guys at Team Capital do and just get back to dominating your path. It's more important anyways. Next question. Hey Jason, if your vision and dream is to become a professional athlete, would you recommend them to watch their sport as a learning tool to improve themselves? Ashwell from South Africa. All right, dude, regardless, here's what I'm gonna tell you to do. When I was 14 years old, I would stay up till two in the morning, even though I had to wake up for school at 6 a.m., just to watch Steve Nash and the Dallas Mavericks play whoever the hell they were playing, because that was the only time that they're on national TV and it'd be like 11 p.m. in the East Coast when they were playing at seven or eight p.m. on the Pacific. When I watch these games, not only would I record them on VHS so I could go back and rewatch Steve Nash and study every little thing that he was doing, but I would also hold a basketball in my living room as I watched him play because I was that Kaizen. I was that focused. So without answering your question directly, there's your answer. We did it. That's all 10? We did it. See you later.